Hi, sunshine. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lorianne. Cut. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I have lipstick on my teeth. Mm. Ew. It was so much. I saw it on the screen. <laughs> okay, wow. Ew. Okay. Is it red? No, it was like brown, but I just like, it was, my teeth weren't white. They were like brown over here. Okay, sorry. Okay. One more time. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, sunshine. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lorianne. And today, Mad Curls is going to bring you um, mousse for the rich folks like me this side and foam for y'all <laughs> <laughs> now is it mousse is it foam look we don't know mine yeah. says mousse does My, yours say foam? no mine says mousse too but okay. we keep calling it foam i don't keep, why do we keep calling it foam but it's definitely right. called I said, i'll call it mousse <laughs> okay and we're going to do two different ones mm -hmm. we call it the affordable side and then we call it the bougie side those of us with college loans out here <laughs> <laughs> those of us that don't care okay and you know i'm on my design essentials kick mm -hmm. so today i will be bringing to you design essentials almond avocado um, mousse what is it a curl enhancing mousse and i will be bringing to you the can't two shea butter for natural hair wave whip curling mousse mm -hmm. So I've tested this. This is going to be my third day. The first day I tested it, I deep conditioned my hair with the Shea Moisture Protein Treatment. Then I put in the leave-in. Then I put this in. My hair was very dry because I did not realize that this product had protein in it. It says that it has wheat protein. Um, it has no parabens, no paraffins, no petrol, uh, petrolatum, okay, no mineral oil. And it does have, what did I see that it had uh, the proteins in it? And the some, ingredients says wheat protein. Yeah, wheat protein. Okay. Hydrolyzed wheat protein. So that might have been a problem. Now, I love protein. My hair loves protein, and it automatically gets um, immediate curl definition, very defined curls. But it was just curl defini definition overload, and I didn't understand what that was. So then yesterday, I tried it again. This time, I used it with its own leave-in. There's a lotion to this brand, and then there's a leave-in. I found this the other day in um, Target, the Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. So I said, oh, it might be a little lighter than the lotion. I said, so let me try it with this. So yesterday my hair was extremely defined again, uh, very big, but it took a lot of picking to get it big, and just very tight, almost like you couldn't muss it up, almost like you had to pull and tug and pick it, and it was just a lot of work. This morning I woke up and it still had extreme curl definition. but. I think foams are meant to be kind of light, airy, blowy, and I kind of want that look, so I'm going to try it again today with nothing. I've shampooed my hair this morning with Weedad. Um, well, I actually I did the purple shampoo this morning, Joyco purple shampoo. I conditioned it with Weedad, um, curl quencher conditioner, rinsed it out, and my hair has nothing in it right now, and this is the only thing that's going in it. Okay. Okay. My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, this, yesterday was actually my first time using foam. We had a testing day, and I just really had no faith in foam. I'm like, Mom, I feel like foam is for people who have, like, wavy hair, who just want to scrunch in and get those beach waves. Like, I had no, um, faith in foam. Yeah. But, be that as it may, I used foam. <laughs> yesterday, I used the, uh, can't two moisturizing curl activator cream and then i went in with the foam uh, we, i will be inserting a clip so you can see our testing day of these products with our leave-ins in and uh, again like you said i feel like foam's supposed to be light and airy my curls yeah. were extremely defined and i really didn't have a lot of volume because they were so defined and i remember yesterday putting it in the foam and it just felt like shampoo like my curls immediately clumped together when i was scrunching it there was just foam everywhere and it was just a mess but when it dried there was curl definition there wasn't really a lot of volume but i didn't mind the look because today I woke up and like there was a little bit more volume, so I definitely could have got gotten day two, day three, probably day four mm -hmm. out of it. Um, but today I'm going to get rid of this. I won't be putting in the curl activator cream because I want to see what this foam just does by itself. That's what yeah. I want to do. See what yeah. It does so by no leave-ins today. Yeah. 
And we are going to say. Leave it didn't make it any softer. To me, it just made it more defined and held it tighter. Yeah. And that's not what I think that a, yeah. a mousse should do. I think it should just be blowy kind of and blowy airy. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, so we shall see. Yeah, mine is curly girl friendly. No silicones, none of that. And it doesn't have protein in it, so I'm really glad I went with this one because my hair has been so dry. And if I use that one, no. All that protein, okay. no, no, no. Nope. I don't know. And this is why it's important not to obsess about um, ingredients because we definitely don't obsess, but to have an, a general idea of what is in your product that you're using because little did I know the day that I did the Shea Moisture Protein Treatment, then did the Shea Moisture, um, first I, sh I washed it with that shampoo, that whole, the brand new line. I did the Shea Moisture Protein Shampoo, the Shea Moisture Protein Conditioner, rinse that out, then put in the treatment, the protein treatment, let that sit in, took that out, then I sprayed it with the leave-in. So it was just protein, protein on protein on protein. And then this with protein. Yeah. So um, little did I know, you know, this is where all this dryness came from. Yeah. So um, we'll all see. Right. I'm ready to style. I'm ready to style. Okay. So if you want to see our foam one and done, basically, mm -hmm. then please keep watching. Please keep watching. So first things first, water. water. <laughs> There's lots of it today. Yeah. I don't know if it specifies um, directions, a whole lot of water, saturated, damp, whatever. Let me just really get this down pat. So my directions say apply curl enhancing mousse, let's see, to wet hair and comb or finger through the, de um, through the desired style. Allow hair to dry naturally or use a diffuser to set curls. Okay, so... All right, and mine just says apply to wet, wet hair, hair and scrunch in an upward motion. Okay, so it just says wet hair. So I, I still think I'm going to do each individual section. Yeah. Because I swear uh, it's just the, maybe the month, it's the atmosphere, I don't know, but products could be reacting differently. Um, things that once worked in the winter now are seeming kind of not to work. I don't know what this yeah. is. And yeah, my hair yeah. has been going through a minor crisis. So we did that last one and done on that main choice bio tin infused gel. And I left it in my hair for like four days. And my hair was just big and I just love the volume. But it's kind of been crashing ever since. Uh, my hair has been very dry. Not even my Aussie in the shower today could save it. I had to get out and get with the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey uh, Deep Conditioner. And the Q Redo to really kind of get some moisture back into my hair because it, I don't know what's going on. I think there are products are seasonal, I think. I remember last year using the um, Jane Carter Curls to Go for, I think, when Adam went to his prom. Good old Wi-Fi Adam. And we were out there posing, taking pictures, and my hair looked phenomenal. And two weeks later, no more than a month later, for his graduation pictures, my hair looked like little Orphan Annie. Same product, same style, same everything. I chose that product because I had such phenomenal results for his prom night for all my pictures, my photo session. <laughs> Everybody had to match. Don't show up at the prom. Don't come anywhere near the front lawn. I know we were all black in black and, and white. white. <laughs> yeah, we were all in black and we were white. We're trying to match Adam with the tuxedo. He had a really nice tuxedo, the black bow, and I said, "Do not step anywhere near the picture." Somebody would come. Like, somebody came out with blue socks inside. You go. I said, <laughs> and we the, "The theme is black and white." I had a black and white scarf. I mean, you were like Momzilla for yeah. those events. <laughs> I was oh my gosh. totally Momzilla. Okay. You know, because like you know, like when you have a baby and you look at your baby when the doctor puts the baby in your arms and you just think, "I wonder what my baby will look like." And five and then ten and then fifteen and I wonder what it looked like on his high school graduation and all that and so I'm like this was one of those big events that I wonder what he would look like on his prom night he looked so handsome oh my gosh and so um yes I was all in it was like I needed directions director um cameras lights camera action everybody had to match it smells like can too <laughs> and the reason mine is affordable even though we said affordable what did you say it's um Relative, or affordability is relative. Yeah, my foam is uh, five ninety nine for eight point four ounces, and yours is mine is anywhere between fourteen ninety nine to fifteen ninety nine for seven point five ounces. I bought mine at Ulta. I've seen it in Sally's. Kept looking at it, drooling over it, wanting it. Just didn't want to spend that money. But for some reason, the other night. I saw, you brought it over to me, and I'm like, I'll put it in my Ulta basket. Yeah. I want it. So see, it has like, hold on, if they can hear that when you're done spraying. 
like that shampoo smell and like not smell that shampoo sound yes and feel like it's I don't know but my curls are clumping together um it's a little drying how are you pulling it through are you doing praying hands or how yeah are you? I'm doing a little bit of everything at the moment okay that's a little bit of everything because um I don't know how I feel about foam I like moisturizing is things. it a mindset is it like you already or thinking it's not going to work, so you're just... No, I mean, I, it had that foam feeling yesterday. I just, I like more moisturizing things, you know. I, I can agree. Yeah, no. I think foams are just, can be a little bit drying. Yeah. What are you, what is you, um, you guys' personal opinion on foams? Who do you think foams are made for? Can anybody use them? Do you think it's for um, lighter textured hair? Do you think there's a purpose? Do you think they're for roller sets? I know there are some out there that are for roller sets. Yeah, specifically. These are saying curl defining Finer. and yours okay. says like wash wash and wear so like that's like a wash and go kind of style it's not it's not even like even curl it's not like they're making curls like the curls that you have they define it so i think it is for hair that already has the curl in it and maybe it's just making them more recognized yeah. more defined i don't know my i shirt. don't think it's making curls though it's like we'll see my shirt's like giving way right now and I know you hate looking at water droplets on me, so I'm going to put my towel on. And I can't talk because I'm doing lots of water droplets for myself. This is serious. Serious business. Oh. And when you're, dealing, when you're dealing with the light product, I can start feeling like the lightness of it. And what I want to do is get more, but I don't want to do that because I don't think products that are light and you start feeling the lightness and you start losing the product in your hair should you start packing on the product because mm -hmm. that's the nature of the product. It's a lightweight product. So me packing on more product is not fixing the situation. I was going to say, which could be good in the summer, a light product, but it depends. I don't know how foam would hold up in humidity. Yes. I'm not quite sure when to use a foam, because even in the winter time, like I want something more moisturizing. So I'm not sure when I would grab a foam. But you raved about foams. You love I did. foams. I did. I really want so to try the Pantu are. one at one point, and... Um, we bought it, and then I never tried. And then when I saw this design of Central's one, and I think there was a, a guy on our live feed one time that said he loved foams. And then I think someone mentioned the design of Central's. So you know me, I'm like, oh, there's more money to be spent on a foam. Oh, look at me. Step away from yeah. Foam clumps your curls like immediately. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who have curl clumping problems. Maybe grab a foam. <laughs> I used to use the Moroccan one. So like I said, price is relative because that one was 32 to 34 and this one is 15. So you're like thinking, oh, 15 is a lot because yours is like five something. But so price is relative. So we'll see. I know that other one used to really work, the Moroccan one. So I remember the results. I still have it. So I will see. Yeah. So it feels like odd in the hair like I can't rake my fingers through it at all um, I'm kind of trying to but I'm getting like it's, little it's, snacks so yeah it's really dry do that. quickly I think it doesn't have slip so it's no. not you know there's no raking of fingers like get your style and sit down because there's no styling <laughs> after that seriously like you can't just keep playing with it you cannot it's not playable it, it is, is, not. is it is I can't even like like Try to fix this part thing. Oh what do you have me doing today? <laughs> um, moose. Foam and moose and <laughs> moose and Is it May 1st? It is May 1st. Oh, okay. So get rid of I don't know if it will be May 1st by the time they see this, though. Oh. I know. Okay. But what I'm, but the point I'm, I'm alluding to is May, my month. Oh, Mother's Day. Oh, yes. my gosh. The whole month. So I get to do whatever I want to whenever I want to do it. I won't take every day. I can't give her a heart attack, guys. But... I will be popping in and out with my Laurieisms. <laughs> what would Laurie do? Who's LAD? What would Laurieann do? Yes. <laughs> I'll be popping in with my motherly words of wisdom. All right. You almost done? Yes, I am done. Oh, I know oh. how to work me a moose, girl. Okay, I'm like struggling over here. Hold Are on. You? Almost done. Let me help you. Um. No. Because <laughs> you don't like, because you don't, um, remember I'm tender headed and you don't remember that. Yes, I do. I'll help you. What, what is what is the difficulty? It's just there's no slip. Yeah, no, there's no slip. And it feels like shampoo. Yes, it does. Oh, goodness. A little foamy, bubbly. This is the last thing I need to be doing with my hair when it's dry. 
is the very last thing. You're soaking but wet. I can't argue with you because it's May. <laughs> so I'm gonna go bald because it's Mother's Day. It's the Mother's Day month. It's gonna be a long month, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't wanna take too much water. This is literally... Okay. I need a microfiber. Okay. Which is around my neck. I gotta start scrunching I have out in here. Immediately. Oh my goodness. You need to. Okay. Is it wet? Is it super yes, wet? it's super wet. Okay, well, there's nothing to be upset about. Okay, oh my gosh. It's the it nature is, of the fall. It's puffy back here. Uh huh. This is just not the wave that I want to be on today. And normally at this point, you can see like possibilities of drying in a successful wash and go. Um, it's a little. Hmm. But I still have hope. At this point, I still have hope. Okay. All right. I'll say one thing that yesterday with the leave in, it did go in smoother, probably because I had that curl activator cream in there. Yeah. All right. Let me get that. Um, where'd it, where'd it go? The microfiber towel? Oh, okay. It's just a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Just don't get befuddled. Okay. It's going to be okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I have to go to the doctor today just for a checkup, and I think they're gonna want to take my blood, and I have to be brave. I have okay. It's just a long day. Yeah, when, when you a hair struggle, younger. a doctor struggle, like <sighs> you mothers out there, do, when you have to take your children to the doctor, I literally tell them as we're pulling into the parking lot. I cannot. I never could tell my kids like a day before, a week before, well, we have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. They would bug the heck out of me <laughs> obsessively like I couldn't take it so I literally would get in the car where are we going oh we're going out I'll let you know when we get there and as we got closer they still kind of recognize as we pulled in the driveway they would go crazy <laughs> and I'm like calm down I'm like the worst is over now we're here so, so like I, I could not tell them any in advance that's how I should have handled you yeah I should have told you yeah <laughs> now I know it's today and I'm like you know what are they going to check I'm like they're gonna want to check like my insides basically I'm like they're gonna want blood to see what's going like, on in my not, bloodstream it's not, like it's not a gynecological visit it's just a regular doctor <laughs> checkup um and yes they probably will send you to the lab yeah they're gonna want to check my to test my blood sugar mm -hmm. they're gonna want a needle is somewhere on the horizon for yes. me um by the time we film this outro you know I'll let you guys know how it went how brave <laughs> I was <laughs> okay if she's holding a balloon she was brave if she has a smack across her face she wasn't <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so we're gonna go let our hair air dry, and we'll be back to show you these results. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. And we are back. We're these on are <laughs> these are our results. Yeah. <laughs> so we just dropped Wi-Fi Adam off, and we're like, let's just film the end of this video right now. Our hair is dried and picked out. Not that it really needed much picking at mm -hmm. all. Um. So it's just like I thought. Super airy. Mm -hmm. Um. Very light de very defined um i love it um if i was home and i could get a hold of a blow dryer i might put it to the roots to give it a little bit of length but i'm not home and you have so much volume yeah and to curl definition if these if these foams do nothing else they define your curls mm -hmm. like mine are even short my length is shorter because every single curl is defined but and accounted it's for so soft is yours just as soft it's soft oh yeah so that so. makes me think I don't know. It's a different look. This about is what day, foams day do. two. As I know we didn't know if it would make it to tonight. We might yeah. be extra because I'm sure it'll make it to tonight. Um, styling products are meant to last the day. I would hope. Yeah. So but we're it's probably a, being extra. It's a different look. It's a different look. But I I kind of wouldn't mind it for the summer because it's hot out here. I don't know if this mm -hmm. is highlighter or sweat right now. I'm hot. It was easy to do. And, um, easy to apply. Yeah. We didn't overdo it. But it's nice to have a light product in the summer. Mm -hmm. I feel like if people don't want a one and done the foam, then at least maybe just add it to the routine of something. Cause it definitely, if you're lacking definition, this, I feel like this gives it to you. It's almost like a Denman brush and like a product yeah. form. This is so much definition. So yeah, yesterday when I put in the leave-in conditioner along with the foam, it was big like this, but tighter and it felt like it had another product in there this today is just very light very yes. glowy very airy you feel the difference so, yeah oh yeah i feel like i have to see what day two looks like for this i know i got day two using the curl activating cream and the foam yesterday okay. so i have to see what day two looks like for this but i know i can definitely get days out of my wash and go when i do the foam and the curl activator cream mm -hmm. i have to see what this does but um i like i like how big it is yes it's very very big it's different mm -hmm. it's different it's different it's different you know yeah. No.
here just floating around here so you guys have to let us know how you feel about foams if you use oh you use foam moving. what's your favorite foam yeah. because i was on the quest for foam and I only knew about the Moroccan one that I used years ago, so I didn't really know about foams. And then I came across the Design Essentials. We came across that Cantu. Yeah. That seemed like a fairly new product. But does anybody have a favorite foam? Let me see. Bring your head over here. Is your hair any more moisturized than mine is? I don't um, think so. We both have like that. that I think soft mine's softer. Feel. I think mine's softer than yours, though. Really? I do. Yeah. But I still think they're both good foams mm -hmm. no matter which way you want to roll yeah. with it um also there's like different ingredients like yours is what like sweet almond and avocado yes oh sorry guys <laughs> we don't have a tripod um and my the can't two foam had coconut oil and shea butter i believe in it so maybe it depends some people can't do coconut mm -hmm. oil so they might be more inclined to do the design essentials or yeah whatever but yeah so this yep, is it i like it i have a diatribe foam you were even dying to get a foam in my hair. Yep, and I'm going to stick with it. Yeah. It'll be my go-to foam now. Oh, of course it will. Because I hear better. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I like the results. Yeah. You're cute. A little shrinkage there. But, Definitely um, shrinkage because mm -hmm. it's definition. Like, I was like, why are my but again, curls I like so shrinkage short? These days because it wards off the haircut that I, oh, that yeah, I need. That yeah. you want, yeah. Because I'm wondering the weather and the summer, if it's going to give its own haircut by shrinkage on days of humidity and all that, I better lay low for a while instead of putting some scissors to these hair. I can you imagine? Yeah, and then I cut it and then, cut it, and and then, then it shrinks and then it shrinks more. Like, it, like if I cut it and then it did something like this, it would be even shorter than this. So yeah. I better slow my roll with those scissors. I don't know. I like it though. It's mm -hmm. different. Like I don't think... Right now at the moment, I said my hair is feeling very dry. So this is probably not something I'm going to be reaching for again in the next couple of days. I need to get some more moisturizing products going. But um, I could definitely see myself doing this mm -hmm. if I wanted a quick, big, fluffy hairdo. Yeah. This is cute. Good job, gal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so, <laughs> we just um, stop yeah. by to tell you. <laughs> no, we just stop by to show you. I don't know why we keep saying we just stop by. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I don't know what people say it all the time, but anyway, yeah. we did just stop by to tell you because we are not <laughs> home and we want to end this. Yeah. So, so we just do, we just it. switched up. You never know what where we're coming from. This is on location. Now. Now, even though our aesthetic was so cute at home, it was, it was very, very, cute. very cute aesthetic. Um, yeah, it was now, very cute. Here we are in this car. Me looking sweaty. Mm -hmm. It could be highlighter. It could be sweat. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hopefully, it's highlighter. It's hot. <laughs> anyway. Um, Come chat with us in the comments yes. because, you know, we talk back. We talk back. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching this video. And we'll see you in our next video. See you in our next video. Bye. Bye.